Hello, in this video, we are going to create 2.5D side scrolling uh, platformer like controls using UI buttons. So, let's get started. Here I'm using simple shapes for our environment like a capsule for player and uh, uh, cubes for ground and uh, we also need a script to handle our player uh, movement so I create a script called player controller uh, this script will simply handle our player so let's track on to our player and double click to open it up. Now inside this script we need some variables so I simply write some variables here move speed like move speed and uh, jump force and etc. Uh, in this controller I am using rigid body so I simply write uh, on top required component uh, type of rigid body and uh, inside awake function uh, I simply uh, fill this reference uh, using get component function and uh, we need some booleans like facing right and is grounded Uh, we need a script to handle our button input so I am creating a input key name script and uh, also creating a canvas to create our buttons onto it and uh, simply switching to Android in case testing onto our device and uh, here I am creating simple buttons. Uh, inside input key script uh, we need a reference for our player controller so I simply write player controller and uh, getting this reference inside the wake function uh, so find object of type uh, uh, player controller it will find this uh, game object and uh, I'm simply creating functions to uh, interact with our button so this function is uh, this function will uh, called whenever we press our uh, button inside player controller I'm going to create a, a function called uh, horizontal input because uh, we only need horizontal input so it will take a, a value a float value and uh, I'm simply going to store it inside the uh, uh, x input variable so we can use this and uh, also create a function called jump input to take our jump inputs from uh, uh, input keys uh, so let's go back to our input keys and create a function called on jump now let's fill these functions uh, inside left uh, down function uh, we need to feed minus one and uh, inside uh, uh, left up we need to feed zero and uh, similarly for uh, right uh, down on right up and uh, for jump we need to call simply call jump input and uh, there i made a mistake we don't need any uh, parameter for this jump input uh, function Uh, for our input buttons, I am going to use uh, event triggers. Event triggers uh, receive events from event system and call uh, registered functions for each event. So I'm using event functions uh, for these two uh, left and right buttons. And inside type, I'm simply uh, 
using uh, pointer down and pointer up for both left and right and uh, feed these uh, functions which we have created on left down and on left up and uh, for jump we don't want any event trigger simply on click event and don't forget to attach rigid body uh, in case you have uh, attached the script first and write the script uh, after attaching it now we need to move our player uh, i'm using velocity function of rigid body to move our uh, player and uh, rb.velocity.y because we don't need to move uh, uh, we don't don't need to change our y velocity let's hit play and test it out so it is working right so my mobile device is attached so you can see uh, it is working fine uh, let's flip our player when we are moving right or left uh, we have created this uh, boolean for uh, uh, to know whether we are facing right or not inside if statement we simply check if our input uh, uh, x uh, x is, is uh, less than zero and uh, we are facing right then we need to flip and uh, 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 let's create this function uh, down there And uh, we also want to flip uh, when we are moving right and facing left uh, when our uh, input x is, is greater than 0 and we are facing left then we need to flip so uh, let's create a, a start function and uh, write the facing right equals to true when we start the game in case uh, facing right is true we simply oppose this value and uh, I'm creating a vector 3 local scale and storing our local scale because we need to scale negative when we are uh, when we are facing left uh, so I need to change this uh, x value and multiply it by minus 1 when, uh, whenever this function is called and uh, now we have created our uh, flip function uh, flip logic uh, now check this inside the unity editor So logic is working fine here you can see minus 1 and 1 okay now uh, let's create our uh, jump logic first we need uh, to know what is ground so uh, simply create a, a layer marks for that and uh, transform uh, I'll show you this in a minute and we also need a float uh, variable uh, check radius uh, this check radius is uh, the range for ground check uh, and uh, I created a layer and uh, apply assign this to uh, our ground and uh, layer mask to ground layer and uh, I'm creating a child game object called uh, ground check this will this is the uh, uh, position of our ground check uh, let's drag this ground check uh, transform onto this uh, ground check slot So let's write some code for is grounded uh, I'm using this function physics dot check sphere. This function will return uh, true when it will match this condition uh, in this particular radius uh, if uh, the layer is uh, uh, ground layer then it will return simply true and inside update function uh, I simply write some logic uh, if uh, jump button is pressed and we are not jumping then is jumping is true and uh, jump input will false so uh, inside fixed update we are checking if we are grounded and is jumping is true then rb dot velocity equals to new vector tree rb dot velocity dot x or whatever the velocity of x and uh, jump force which we have created uh, 
variable on top of our script make sure to attach on jump function onto your jump button and let's hit play so here jump is working fine uh, here uh, the problem is nothing but uh, the gravity is too low so that's why he is coming too slow so we need to change our gravity so inside physics we need to simply change it minus 50 and uh, let's check this value uh, okay I think 50 is good minus 50 is good uh, there is an issue uh, when we press jump uh, when we are not grounded after reaching ground uh, he respond to that uh, input so we don't want this to happen okay so we simply write some lines uh, if we are not grounded and is jumping is true then simply uh, simply change it to false is jumping equals to false and uh, simply return from there so now our logic is working fine so yes our logic is working fine uh, we also want to camera to follow our player so I uh, quickly import a cine machine and uh, created a virtual camera here I am changing body type to uh, framing and transposer and uh, aiming to do nothing and uh, after dragging our player on to follow and look at so play with these settings of uh, cine machine virtual camera okay there we have our uh, platformer controller so everything is working fine uh, thanks for watching see you in the next video